What's up y'all? I'm Lamont and welcome to Routine Markout. I know a few of y'all have been asking for a walk around in my truck. Well today I'm getting that done. It's very windy outside so I hope the audio sounds good but anyway let's get to it. Alright so I'll break this video down into sections in case you want to skip ahead. It's a 2007 Chevy Silverado Z71 with the classic body. It's got about 197,000 miles on it and it's my daily driver. It's four wheel drive, crew cab edition, 5.3 liter Vortec engine making about 295 buff horses and 335 feet of torque. Four speed auto trans with overdrive and tow mode, 17 miles to the gallon on the highway with a 26 gallon tank. Z71 package includes skid plates and gas shocks and for creature comforts I have Bose speakers, heated seats, power mirrors and yeah that's it. I'll start with the newest addition to the truck and that's this front bumper. It's made by Hammerhead Armor out of Bay Springs, Mississippi. It's a pre-runner style, winch capable, 3 16th inch carbon steel bumper. It has a textured powder coated finish and it also accommodates 6 inch round fog lights. The shocking mounts are part of the mounting surface to the truck's frame that actually extend through the bumper and are welded from the inside of the bumper as well as the outside. The only drawback I would say about the bumper is that it weighs 156 pounds. The bumper had mounts for lights. So I chose to go with these LED powered 96 watt 9 inch spotlights. The brand is called x -Bright, and I got it from Amazon. Tucked behind the bumper is this mini built Gen 2 X2O winch with synthetic rope and wireless controller. The winch is rated at 12,000 pounds and is also waterproof. Right next to the winch are these 3 4 inch D-ring shackles by Gear America. The last thing on the bumper are these Hella 500 series amber fog lights. Mounted on the hood, I have these APOC Industry Ditch Light Brackets. And mounted on them, I have Rigid Industries D-Series 3-inch flood beams with amber covers. Okay, so moving to the back, I get a lot of questions about this tire carrier. It's custom made, I actually bought it from a guy who made it for his Jeep, but I'll show you how it works. It's able to carry a full-size spare, but it does get in the way when the tailgate's down. This device here keeps the whole carrier from moving a lot while it's in the receiver. Keeping everything enclosed, I have this ATC camper shell. It doesn't exactly fit my truck, but it works. My most favorite addition to the truck has got to go to the sleeping slash storage system that we built. If you would like to see that build, then look at my previous videos. Firewood usually stores here for easy access. On the other side, I usually keep miscellaneous items that I would need quick access to. We sleep in these sleeping bags that rest on top of this 3 inch thick memory foam mattress topper. It's really comfortable. This LED light strip is a game changer. We usually hook it up to an external battery pack that provides all the light we need show you all the storage that I have. In the first section, I keep more things I need quick access to, like a portable shower, there's a camping chair, as well as a pop-up privacy tent. The middle section, I keep more miscellaneous items, but the last section, I keep my two solar panels that I use for my solar generator. The interior is pretty simple. I keep a few handheld radios up front, as well as this rough country switchboard for all my lights. <laughs> for communications, I have this unit in Pro 520XL CB radio attached to a fire stick, four foot, 900 watt antenna. It's not the best looking setup, but it works for me. Mm -hmm. 
right behind the driver's seat i keep a few things that i need quick access to like this headlamp i also keep a few power tools like this drill as well as an impact wrench i also keep a vire 300p air compressor gear america's recovery kit as well as some jack stand i usually keep this optical fridge refrigerator strapped down to the seat i've only had it for a few months now but it does pretty good it's 55 liters, which takes up a lot of space, but it really comes in handy. Right behind the passenger seat in the storage bin houses all my camping gear, whether it be cooking or hammocks, whatever I need. I also keep a six gallon water jug right behind the seat as well. I'm considering taking out the rear seat just so I can organize things a little bit better as well as strip everything down to the floorboard. I keep a Ram X-Grip holder for an iPad mini on this mount right here. We use that for when we need access to maps when we're off-roading. In terms of lift, the only thing I'm running is a 3-inch leveling kit with blocks in the rear and the torsion keys cranked up in the front. From the factory, one weak point to the front suspension are the tie rods. These are the tie rods I chose to go with. Uh, Kryptonite series. I kept running into problems with premature wear from my ball joints. So I replaced my old upper control arms with some from Freedom Off-Road. They have a slight camber to them, which I guess helps the geometry, but they do good. For my front and rear shocks, I chose to go with Bilstein 5100 series. The wheels are American Outlaw regulators with a 17 inch diameter and a zero offset. And the tires are Nitto Terra Grappler G2s and 285 7017. The Terra Grappler G2s have two different sidewall patterns on each side of the wheel. On the front, I like the original Terra Grappler pattern, whereas at the back, I got the Thunderbolt pattern since I'm putting so much dang power down to these wheels. The drivetrain is completely stock. However, I do have an Eaton G80 locker in the rear diff. The only performance upgrades to the engine I've done is this K&N intake. I also installed this Rough Country controller that controls my lights and CB radio. If anybody was wondering about the channel's logo sticker, I had a bunch made just to kind of play around with. So if you want one, please feel free to hit up the comment section and I'll make sure to send it to you free of charge. Future plans for the build. I would like a custom made tire carrier that swings out from the tailgate instead of down. If you have any ideas, please comment below. It would really help. I'm also planning on going to a coilover system instead of the torsion bars that I have now. And finally, I want to replace the side steps with rock sliders. Yeah, that just about does it. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to comment below. And thanks for watching.